Good evening, Oilers. I am Luis, and here's your news before bedtime. Attention, artists! Do not forget, you are just a few clicks away from being a published artist. Submit your talented works to In Art Lit Magazine today. Drawings, photography, illustrations, poetry, In wants it all. Use the QR code on screen to submit your works and get published. This year's In issue will be distributed later in the spring of 2024. Euler TV's Olive the Eulerit contest is happening now until May 22, 2024. Submit your Olive audition demonstrating your spirited, uniqueness, and fierceness Olive. The best Olive submission will be announced on May 28th and will get to be at school spirit events right by Ollie's side during the 2024 through 2025 school year. The contest is open to all who believe they have what it takes to be a memorable Olive. Use the QR code on screen to apply and submit your video by May 22nd of 2024 and be part of MHS history. Do you have a unique talent? Other TV has teamed up with our ASB to present to you the MHS Talent Show. The show will take the stage later in the spring and it will showcase Euler talent at its best. Use the QR code to sign up. Music, singing, physical performance, magic? We want to see it all. ASB is proud to present this great event as Euler TV captures it in 4K. Sign up today and show us what you got. Hey seniors, it's Nate. Are you on track to graduate? Did you know you must have 220 credits by May 23rd to graduate? That's right, Oilers, you need 220 credits to graduate. If you are enrolled in a credit recovery class that is required of course, you must complete it by that due date as well. If you fail to complete your requirements for graduation, you may not be able to attend the ceremony and walk the stage. To check if you're on track, speak to your counselors, check those grades, and keep working hard, seniors. We want to see you walk the stage June 5th. Good evening, Oilers. It's Tyson. And Shirlene. With the Oiler Weather Update. Ready for sunny California to be back? Tomorrow we will see the sun all day and the weather will start off at 56 degrees, rising to a warm 80 degrees. Make sure to get out for a stretch, Oilers. On Tuesday, the sun will be seen beyond our clouds with temperatures of 56 degrees, rising to 80 degrees. Get out for a bigger stretch, Oilers. Wednesday will be partly cloudy with weather in the morning at 56 degrees, rising to 76 degrees later that day. Make sure you kiss the skies and clear your mind, Oilers. Thursday will be nice, fresh, and warm with our mornings at 53 degrees, rising to 69 degrees. Don't forget to take a walk and get your steps in. Friday has the perfect temperature to go out to the ball game and support our Oilers varsity baseball team. We will wake up to a cool morning standing at 52 degrees, rising to 69 degrees later that day. This weekend weather will stay consistent with a shy sun. Saturday will start off at 53 degrees and Sunday will be a cool 54 degrees, both days rising to 70. Stay, stay nice, nice and, and fresh, fresh Oilers. Oilers! Hey Oilers, we're back with another segment of Women's History Month and we're joined by our ASB president, Sitlali and Isabel. We will go around campus asking female staff about Women's History Month. What does Women's History Month mean to you? I guess for me it means about uh, women empowerment. Women were always kind of held below men's standards and I just feel like, hey, you know, we work just as hard as men and, and so we've come up a lot in a lot of ways. So I feel it's a women empowerment. How does it feel to be a woman here working at NHS? It feels good. It feels good. Um, being a mom, a grandma, and you know, having a full-time job and just the everyday grinding at work, it, it, it feels good to, as a woman, to make your own money and to be able to take care of yourself and it feels good. Who are a few women that inspire you? <sighs> inspire me? A uh, few women, I would, can I say my grandma? Okay, so my grandma, have, she inspires me. She was a hard worker, she was good, a good person overall. So uh, yeah, my grandma, she's 94 years old, so I look up to her. Hi, I'm Miss Lily in attendance. Okay, and what is a woman or woman that you think inspire you? I wouldn't say that I have one particular woman that inspires me. Um, I'm inspired by a woman that is a confident woman, that is about empowering other women, that you are uh, going to feel comfortable being around and not feel like you're being judged or, um, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
Women's History Month is a celebration of women, uh, you know, internationally throughout the world, um, throughout the years. It's it's to celebrate uh, what women are capable of doing and what they do for us, society, for you know, the accomplishments that are often gone unnoticed. But I think it's it's important that we recognize the strength that women have in all over the world. So it's important for me. One more question, Miss. Who is the woman that inspires you? So I have to say, uh, my coach actually here at Montebello High School when I was playing softball. Um, I played four years with her, Miss West, Barbara West. And then when she retired, I actually replaced her as a PE teacher and as the softball coach. And I coached with her for four years after high school, so I got a lot of great experience from her and knowledge and, and went on to have a successful career, so thanks to her. Thank you so much, Miss. And I have a question for you. Why do you think we should celebrate Women's History Month? I think we should be celebrated because we've accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. Um, from voting to women's rights, it's been in such a short amount of time and I think that needs to be celebrated. Natalia, we have a couple questions for you. Who's the woman that inspires you? Not necessarily a woman, but I think every woman in general. I love um, all women who are very supportive. Who I love women who are very independent with themselves. I feel like it's... It takes it to another level because a lot of women now in society think that they need a man or they need somebody to be in to be happier, to be successful. But I think it's much more than that. I think that it's very like in your own mind. So it's just good to be very independent. So I think that's what inspires me. Are very are women who are very independent with themselves. Thank you, Nat. What is a woman that inspires you in your life? Uh, the woman that inspires me in my life is my mom. My mom is an immigrant from Mexico. She came here by herself as a single mom with two kids uh, and worked very long hours and days to provide what she could for us. Hardworking lady. She's the ultimate person to me. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Happy Women's History Month. Thank yeah. you. Um, CSO Kathy Worthy. Okay, I have a few questions for you. My first question is, what does Women's History Month mean to you? It means to me to celebrate women, all women, uh, mothers, everybody, mothers, grandmothers, just to celebrate women in general, because um, they've accomplished a lot along with others. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you wish for women to accomplish in the 21st century? More, um, I want to say more, okay, first of all, women president, hopefully one day, woohoo, no, I'm just well, really, hopefully one day, and then if not, more women in, as it is, it is a growing field for women in the job, um, such as maybe businesses, principals, you know, so forth. Hopefully women can accomplish a little bit more, like, um, I know there's more women now in the space program and other fields, so hopefully now with we can get farther and farther and farther as we move along. Hi, I'm Siglali, and I'm here with Miss Ashley. I have a question for you, Miss. Who is the woman who inspires you? That would be Eleanor Roosevelt. She redefined the role of the First Lady. She became an activist and took on a huge political role giving speeches and campaigning for FDR when he got polio. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. And that's a wrap for this segment of Women History Month. Thank you to all our staff and female students who contributed. We wish all of you beautiful women out there a happy Women's History Month. I'm, I suck at reading. Like I can read, like for the sake of like retaining information, like I could read like, oh, this thing, th like if I'm reading like a thing about like a, like a statistic for MMA, like I could, I could memorize it. But if you want me to like visualize something from a book, I can't, yeah. Like I'm really good at retaining the information, but I can't like visualize it. And when people like tell me like, oh, like read this book, I have to read it and imagine what's going on. Like I have to stop. Imagine they'll continue reading.